Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I make chicken vindai, which is a vindai opule and a very simple, easy recipe that you can make, especially after coming from work tired like me. So let me take you to the ingredients that we need. It's all right here. We need some chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. I cut them into like big chunk. And then we need some salt, turmeric powder. This is ground mustard. A lot, a lot of red onion. Cut them into big chunk. If you have a small uh, red onion, uh, you can use that, the whole onion. We need some chilies. I'm using a lot of them. And then this garlic is going to blend into paste. And obviously we need some uh, extra salt and pepper. So first thing I'm gonna do is preheat some oil. And um, to this chicken right here, I'm just gonna add some salt and uh, some black pepper powder. And I already washed my hand, so I'm just gonna use my hand and just mix them all together. And then we're gonna go fry them. So I have about half cup of oil uh, preheating. I'm gonna fry these chicken pieces, few pieces at a time. I'm not gonna crowd this pan. We're just gonna fry them slightly color. After three minutes, chicken has slightly color. I'm gonna flip them over and let them fry on the other side as well. Now I'm gonna remove them and put them on a clean plate and then fry the rest. Leftover oil. It's not too much. This is the uh, same pan that, I'm, that I use uh, to fry the chicken. I'm gonna use the same pan and the same oil. Do not turn the heat on yet. Just add garlic, which I have already blended into paste. Ground mustard, turmeric and salt. So you're gonna add that. Give it a mix. If you turn the heat on in advance, then everything is gonna burn, especially the mustard. So now you're gonna give this a mix, just like so. Now you're gonna turn the heat over medium low. This has to cook over medium low heat now. Now you can see the bubble bubble is started. So the heat is now, um, is getting there. So now the pan is hot. Remember, we put everything with when the pan was like cool. So now you're gonna add the chicken. So now we're gonna cook this chicken for five to six minutes, not overcooking. But before that, in between, I'm gonna add the onion. So let it cook first for, for the first three minutes. It's been exactly three minutes, and now I'm gonna add the onion and the chilies. And give it a mix. We're almost done. Vindai doesn't take too long and it also tastes so good. And our Vindai, chicken Vindai is ready. Now you can see the onion gonna stay purple and you can see but it changed color a little bit. And this is how you know the Vindai is ready and the chili gonna stay green. This is how our chicken Vindai is looking right now. I have a plate right here. I'm just gonna grab a little piece. Oh yeah. Do not over cook chicken breast. A perfect amount to cook this chicken breast. Right here. So tender. So tender, so good. <sighs> I'm gonna go serve this with plain white rice and my lentils. My lentils recipe already posted on my channel. You can check that later on. So this combination is so perfect. Chicken vindai, rice and lentils. 
hope you guys enjoy this video with me i'm gonna put the written ingredient down below in the description box i will see you next time with another one bye bye